When we plan a trip to Iceland, one of the most important things we need to consider is car rental. Since public transportation can be expensive and limited, especially when traveling outside of Reykjavik, renting a car is the ideal option. It will give you the freedom to explore all of what magical island has to offer. So, when it comes down to renting a car, there are few things that are important to consider. In this video, I will go over all you need to know before renting a car in Iceland. At the end of the video, I will also share with you some of my local tips, so stay tuned. Hi guys, my name is Kjartan and today we will talk about renting a car in Iceland. When you compare car rentals, there are many things to consider that can make a big difference for your holiday. Whether you want to book through a comparison site or go directly with a local car rental company like Ice Rental 4x4. So, what is it that we need to consider? First off, we always recommend going with a local company. By doing that, you will get a personal service and enjoy great communication when needed, before, during, or even after your rental is finished. The second thing is the cancellation policy. Each car rental company will have its own cancellation policy. The most common policy is 48 hours cancellation, meaning that you can cancel up to 48 hours before the rental and get a full refund. During these COVID times, many car rentals have brought more understanding to the cancellation policy. For example, at Ice Rental 4x4, we have a COVID policy in case of a cancelled flight or persons cannot travel due to the COVID. We allow free cancellation until the rental should begin. The third thing is mileage. The most common policy in Iceland is unlimited mileage, but you may find cheap deals with limited mileage. Iceland is a small country, but the island is not so tiny, roughly the size of Kentucky. So having unlimited mileage can both give you more freedom and save you great money in the end. The fourth and probably the most important thing to keep in mind before renting a car in Iceland is insurance. Iceland is an expensive country. Cars and car parts are no exception to that. With its challenging weather conditions, as well as road conditions, choosing the correct insurance can play a vital part in your holiday. In general, Iceland has a higher self-risk included in its collision damage waiver. Self-risk meaning the amount of money that a renter would need to pay in case of damage. Additionally, you will see insurances that are unique for Iceland, such as gravel protection and sand and ash insurances. At Ice Rental 4x4, we provide three insurance packages available for purchase, called Silver, Premium and Platinum insurance packages. Our recommendation is to select the premium package. With this insurance, the self-risk has been minimized and you will have gravel protection as well as sand and ash insurance included. Since Iceland has very unpredictable weather and road conditions regardless of what time of the year it is, having the right insurance can make a big difference. Fifth thing is to pay in Icelandic krona. When you come to the rental desk and need to pay for the rental, or any extras, you may get the option to pay with your local currency or in Icelandic krona. We always recommend selecting the Icelandic krona. Reason being that if you select your currency, your credit card or bank is likely to apply higher exchange rate, which will make a difference if your rental price is high. Now, I would like to share with you some of my local tips when it comes to renting a car in Iceland. 
Watch out for sheep and horses. And no, <laughs> this is not a joke. In Iceland, we have more sheep than people. And during the summer times, they are allowed to roam free in the mountains. Sometimes they come close to the roads. And if they get scared, they can run in front of the vehicle. So, if you see a sheep by the road, do not use the car horn at them. And make sure to slow down if needed. Now, when it comes to horses, something that happens frequently is that people park the car close to horses and they bite the cars. <laughs> yes, this is true. For some reason, horses bite the cars and leave a major damage to it. So, if you're looking to enjoy Icelandic horses, make sure you park the car far enough for them not to be able to reach it and eat it. Do not stop in the middle of the road to take pictures. Icelandic roads can be very narrow and challenging. Although Iceland has endless places that are worth taking photos of, make sure that you find a spot where you can park the vehicle safely. This is a safety matter for you and others who are traveling on the road. Avoid speed traps in Iceland. We have cameras all across the country that will take a photo of you if you speed. Speeding fines in Iceland are very expensive. So make sure to stick to the legal speed limit. The speed limit in Iceland is 90 km per hour on highways and from 30 to 80 km per hour in city limits. My last recommendation is that you inspect your vehicle carefully before leaving the rental office. Take photos of the car outside the rental location and a video. Photos always capture everything while our eyes may miss some damages. This can be important when it comes to returning your car. If something is noticed, you will be able to show photo proof that the damage was there before you left the agency. That's it for today's video. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. If you have any questions about renting a car in Iceland, make sure to comment down below. So take care, drive safe and I'll see you next time.